Hey you guys, today I'm going to do a video asking for support for a family member of mine that's in Houston, Texas. She is in the, um, one of the victims of this horrible, horrible hurricane, Harvey. And first of all, my prayers go out to everybody that's affected by this hurricane because by us seeing it on CNN and what we see on Facebook and stuff like that, it just does no justice from the story that I've been hearing from people that I know that live there. Um, we see how they're coming to us. They're going to a certain part. And when they get rescued, they're going to a certain part. And that's, you know, all fine and dandy. And then when I get a phone call from my family member and she is saying that they can't even get to that part. Those, you know what I'm saying? Um... It's, it's really bad. She said they're stuck at the hotel where they're at. They're running out of food. When they got rescued, they wasn't able to take nothing. So they lost everything. She said they were able to take like two outfits. Her son, um, he had the shoes he had on, got soaked. They had to wait for them to dry out. So you know they ruined now. Um, her daughter lost everything. It's just when you hear these stories compared to what you see on TV. Then when you see the Facebook real stories. Because y'all know the CNN, MSNBC, all of them only going to show you certain parts. They not going to go show you like the hood, like the southwest side. You know, they was barely showing the east side. We only saw a lot of the east side because of Facebook um, when my family members stay, they stay like on the outskirts of Houston. So, you're not going to see that side because everything is down there by the convention center in downtown area. That's where the news is at. So, you don't even get to see what the outskirts of Houston is looking affected by. And I'm just asking for, I don't care if it's a dollar donation, five dollars, whatever, 50 cents, whatever you can send to my PayPal or you can send it directly to her. I will give you guys her name, her Facebook link. Don't send her no friends request. Send her a message and ask her how can you help or whatever. Um, if you have a family member that's out there in Houston and they going through the same thing, let me know so we can put it out there that they need help. Because I'm just going to be honest. I'm not donating to Red Cross or nothing like that because I feel like the inner cities don't be getting <laughs> their money. So, you know what I'm saying? Or don't get it as fast as the other cities would get it. So... I'm all about helping the families that need it and need it right now. Not wait till they FEMA check, clear, come in, all that kind of stuff. Like my family member right now, she's at a hotel, but they're charging them. I don't understand that. I don't understand how are you charging them. I feel like if they have the Houston or whatever city's been affected ID, then they should be allowed to stay there. But they're not being allowed to stay there. They have to get food and try to get to a store that's open to get the food. I'm like, oh my God. When she was like, we can't even get to a store. She was like, when we do get something to go get some clothes or whatever, that store's not open yet. And I'm just like, oh. Like, they're not showing that part on CNN and MSNBC and stuff like that. they only showing this little stuff about who the president not addressing, who he addressing. Yeah, they showing the heartfelt stories of people getting rescued like that, but that's in the houses. What about the people that's in the apartment buildings that need to be rescued? You know what I'm saying? People that's... That I'm seeing on Facebook that's hanging from trees. I mean, like, not hanging from trees, but holding on to tree branches so they don't die and hold on to their kids and stuff like that. Sh talk about that. That's my whole thing. That's why I have this channel to talk about the things that's happening in the inner city that the news don't show you, don't talk about, stuff like that. But like I said, if you have a family member in Houston or Louisiana that's affected by this hurricane and they need help let me know so we can put their name out there and if it's you know if we get enough donations we can divide it amongst all these families that need help asap and not when they fema check
kick in. I just don't understand that. Especially with this new law that's going to kick in on September 1st. Where they... And it always happens when it's a hurricane like that. All of a sudden, a new law go in effect where these victims is not getting their money. They're not getting their houses rebuilt. Some of these people don't even have a house. They are renting. Some of them are renting apartments and stuff and don't have nothing to go back to. Like my people, they lost their cars they lost everything so and they were renting an apartment they didn't have a house so they can't go rebuild their house um so like i said i will put my link of my paypal i'm not doing no gofundme because y'all know gofundme they make money off of it and take a percentage off no i'd rather get the money go send it straight to all the families affected today bank accounts it, it just don't make no sense for gofundme to even be trying to charge a fee right now um and i will send you guys the link to her facebook but like i said don't send her no friends request just send her a message and ask how can you help that's it we don't need nobody in her dm trying to get with her none of that kind of stuff it ain't even that type of party it's all about supporting the family that's in need um she has three kids that that's just with her that needs help so let's show her that it's all about support and we care about our people all right you guys talk to you later follow me on all things social media by the ghetto of uth a not the and i'll talk to y'all later